In real estate business, if you are greedy, don't expect anything to be free. You have to be ready to pay. Let me tell you this story. So there's this client who came to buy a property from someone he trusts. Yeah? With someone he trusts, let's give an example that he's buying that property for, let's say, $50,000. $50,000. And then um, it happens that he dig down and he searched. And he also got another uh, seller. And he can get it from that person at $48,000. You understand? But that person, he doesn't know that person well. And he, he can't trust that person. Like the $50,000 seller. Uh -huh. The $50,000 seller, he knows that person in and out. And he can trust that person. He can always trace back and do his due diligence and whatever. It is that easy. But um, the new seller that he has gotten, who is selling to to him at 48,000 he doesn't have an idea who he is just that someone spoke about him and he just believed it like he just understood it like that so he doesn't know him but his price is lower than the 50,000 so on the basic terms and what an ordinary person does is that they choose the lower part they choose the lower uh, amount and that is what he did any person that is in business will choose the price that is lower because we are all in business for our interest, not someone else's interest. So it makes sense for him to choose the 48,000 over the 50,000. So that means that he's making the decision to suit him. But a $50,000 seller will see him to be greedy, true or false? True. So he sees you to be greedy. But notwithstanding, when you have concluded you are going to be buying it from the $48,000 seller, you came to the 50,000 seller and told him that, oh, I've gotten similar property from this person, but I'm getting it cheaper than your price. Now I'm not price, I'm not buying from you. I'm going to buy from that person. However, I want you to give me information about so so and so about the property, about the details of the the property, why what I should expect and what. And then the person, the, the fifty thousand dollars teller looks at you and say, Ah, how are you gonna ask me that question? You are not buying from me. You want me to give you information. You understand? You want me to give you details, information and how you can, uh, you know, do your due diligence. At what cost? For free? And, he, and the amazing thing is that he, the buyer, is expecting that information to be free. How on earth do you... How on earth are you greedy and want things to be done free for you? If you are greedy, don't, don't expect things for free. You understand? You are greedy, you are making decisions. That's what the, that's what the fifty dollars uh, fifty thousand dollar person will be looking at him like. You are you are you are making decision to favor you, but you don't expect others to make decisions that will favor them. It doesn't make sense. So if you are greedy, you shouldn't expect things for free. Uh huh. So definitely the fifty thousand uh, dollar you know uh, seller told him no. At what cost am I giving you those information? At what cost am I going to uh, assist you? buy that property from that person when you know vividly i'm selling similar thing and you didn't buy from me you made decision to favor you so why should i be working and another person will be reaping the benefit i the one you can trust should be the one to assist you to be giving the the right information i am doing the work then someone else will be taking the ripping the profit it doesn't make business sense and that is what a lot of people in real estate expect just because they know you or they follow you or they know your channel they will come and probably if the business don't go well fine it makes sense that all business doesn't have to go well not every person is your client no some have to go but don't expect free things from people when you do when you yourself you are greedy you understand don't expect the person to give you the information and whatever it is when you know you are not buying from that person so his internet his airtime his mobile phone his uh, bills that he's using to conduct his business, who pays for it? Doesn't make sense. So you don't come thinking you are too wise and very smart, being greedy, and at the same time, you want things for free. It's not like that. So real estate operates in a business pattern. Everything is cost. Everything is business. From consultancy to, you know, um, uh, uh, legal uh, cost to agency commission and all those things so if you are skipping from one or you are running away from from from, from, from some you you might not get what you want and you are likely going to make a decision that may affect you grossly heavily you understand uh-huh so someone like that 
probably let's say he, he didn't give you the right information or he didn't even mind you you went ahead because you you gotten it cheaper to go and buy from the you know the forty eight thousand dollar seller and at the end of the day probably that person is not trustworthy probably that person runs away with your money what have you done because of two thousand because of two thousand difference eh? you have lost forty eight thousand dollars for free buying things from someone you don't trust that is very riskier than just the two thousand so very smart people make decision not just looking at the first value of properties or tents but they look at it as playing safe and making a good returns so instead of putting your risk your uh, your, your investment at risk because of 2000 you rather you know pay the 2000 and you are safe and that is how business is all about we operate business based on trust we operate business based on uh you know doing doing your due diligence and a uh, honest uh, honesty you understand so when you come into the real estate world Please open up your mind and don't look at things in a shallow way. Thank you very much. Kindly subscribe to the channel and don't forget to like and follow for more. Thank you. Bye. Assalamu alaikum.